Howdy peeps, I got a really good pitch tonight. I want you guys to share, share, share. I want to get this out there. This is a thing about mechanical logging. Uh, in our area, we're kind of converting. Oh, I know my camera's junk, I'm sorry. This thing is a piece of freaking junk. You see me? I'm talking to you right there. I'm talking to you. Camera, you're junk. I'll be ashamed. Any words? Look at all the glare in the back. I've cleaned it off. I mean, it's just... I probably got the cheapest camera made. But anyways, share, share, share. It's a good fidget. I, <clears throat> there's adults going to watch this. No, not what you all seeing, but I, the version I made for the adults. Uh, so, uh, I, I, this ain't normal longer weight stuff. I tried to act mature in this. But everybody watch it, share it, get back with me. Let me know what you think. I want this to get out there. Thanks, guys. Later. Hi, everybody. My name's Wade. I work for Phil Aitchens Timber Harvest out of southern Indiana. We're a grade sawmill that buys timber on a stump, sell green lumber, colored mulch, and pre-cut pallet stock. I do some videos and stuff like that, so Steve gave me the opportunity to do a video uh, showing you all a little bit about our uh, aspect of uh, mechanical logging and how we look at it and stuff like that. I'll, I'll uh, first off, I want to say thanks, Steve, for the opportunity, and thanks everybody for putting up with me for a few minutes here. And I think I can pretty much speak for everybody in the industry when I say the margins are tight. We're competing on a world market. The bar performance is always getting raised to do more per man and do a better job for the environment. It amazes me this industry. It's it's not a it's not a career it's an obsession. Uh, we all, we all it's a community. We all work with each other. We're all you you help each other out. We 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 talk to each other. We all talk. Uh, personnel issues, equipment issues, uh, ground issues. I mean everybody. It's amazing how everybody is usually your competition helping each other. If there's a log truck broke down on the side of the highway, guess who's usually stopping to help the log truck? A, a, a company down the road. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. If you're ever out, we, we work out a lot. And if you're ever out and about, you, you know you can rely on another logging company to be help if you got problems. You know, that's who's going to help. And the reason I spit all this out is that the, it always seems like the ones you go to when you need help, the ones that knows things, the ones that can solve problems, uh, the 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 one the ones that you know can look at a property and figure out how to extract everything off that property and do the least amount of damage, make it roll smooth, make the where the BMPs are right. You know when everything just clicks, it's done by one type of logger. And that's that old, broke-down guy that can't log anymore. Now, I'm not even 40 yet. And in my career, I couldn't tell you how many times I've been knocked out. I've lost count of that. Uh, I've been thrown over five times, over 20 foot uh, or more per trip. Uh, broken bones, stitched up multiple times. I, I just and and all the times and 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 then was a, and all the times that you thought, man, I can't believe I walked away from that, you know. And that gauntlet it gets worse every every year. Every year that gauntlet gets worse. The bar gets raised every year, and then there you're left with. So, where what what? How do you get the guys that's been through the gauntlet? that knows how to log, that knows how to work a property, that has seen so many scenarios, they can watch it unfold, and they can make, every time they fall into, they come out smelling like a rose. You know, how do you do that? Well, you do it with mechanization. Now, when you're using a chainsaw and a cable skitter, you, 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 it, it, it's a blast. It's a blast getting along with a chainsaw and the cable skitter. But your main problems, and, and that's what, you know, the growing industry, and that's what everybody's comfortable with and all that stuff. But here, here's the issues with that. You can only pull fiber so hard on a stump and get that tree to do what you want to do. And when you get to cable skidding, 
you don't have hydraulic power to do the things that you need to do. And you end up with human nature kicks in. You know, you always got a little bit of, you know, you got, well, I'm not going to cut that crook out. I'm not going to take them forks out. I'm not going to rearrange that because I have to unhook and, and go around and rehook and all that stuff. Human nature kicks in at points, you know, and, 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 and we all do it. I mean, uh, some is better than others, but we all are susceptible to human nature. And when you got that tree, what's holding that tree when you're falling it through the canopy is that connection to the stump. When you hit an object in that canopy, how do you get the tree to let go? Because you're trying to hold it and got it to start with. And, and, and there's 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 plenty to it. I mean, and the more experienced cutters can do good, you know, can do better than the younger, more inexperienced cutters. I mean, they blah, 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 you can go on for days. But at the end of the day, no matter who's cutting, if you're directional felling and select cut timber, that tree is going to be connected to that stuff. There is no way, shape, or form of getting away from it and still doing good felling techniques. And that right there, the fibers, uh, that, 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 that's your, that part of the tree is your, is your weakness. That's all you got is the fibers. And now we're going through some form of a revolution, I guess you'd call it, in the logging industry to where you're getting uh, hydraulic power. You're getting uh, the, these leveling cutters have the strength to, I mean, overpower. If you grab a, when you're hand cutting, you get down there and you, you get down below that big tree and you look up that tree and that thing, all that thing wants to do is mash it flat. And you get down there and you start doing things and you start manipulating on it and you get the tree to do, to go where you want that tree to go. It's like a big, oh man, that was great. You know what I mean? And you get that high going. But when you take a machine that outweighs that tree and it gets a hold of that tree, guess where that tree's going? Exactly where you want that tree to go every time. And if that turns out to be 60 yards over here, you know, that can happen too. You know, you can pick that thing up and you can remove that tree from that situation and lay it down in a beachy maple spot, you know, or something to that nature, you know. there's, And then you can group stuff together. Breaking forts down, knocking crooks out is just as easy as a push of a button. And now you took a tree that you packaged that thing in bundles instead of your trees being fanned out out there in the woods. And, and you get that bundle where you can shorten that wood up. And it don't matter that there's three or four pieces. Human nature don't matter. Because you're going to come back here and you're going to wrap them tongs around that bundle. And it's already going to be set up in the road where it belongs. And you don't have the skitter down there clawing up the hillsides like we've always had to do in the past. It don't matter what kind of skitter you're using. You're going to back down there and you're going to pull and grip and spin and carry on trying to get the load pulled up to you. And, and, and these swing machines... They drive down there and they sit on a perch and they swing that wood up to where it goes. And there's and when you drive off, the, the, the leaves are still on the ground. I mean, there's no, the soil disturbance is not there. But I'll tell you the one last aspect that's it, a big deal to us. It always has been a big deal. When you're dealing with mother nature, you got weather patterns. So when you go in, you want to go in, swing with a big hammer, get out, get your BMPs done, get it closed out, and then, and, and, and when you are when you get them real big winds is when you get done and you do that finished work and then right there, there comes the rain 15 minutes later. You know what I mean? You've done, you've maximized everything you do in your weather, in your window. And, the, and all these machines are doing is you're taking these good experienced loggers and you're turning them into Superman. And then you talk, I mean, just everybody's just going to reap the benefits of it, you know. It's just, uh, it's just a more refined way of doing it. And, uh, and I hope this somewhat it helps everybody. And, and, and thanks a lot, Steve, again, for the opportunity to get to do this for you guys. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit the buttons and leave me likes, comments, stuff. Let me know what's up. Uh, uh, and if anybody's wanting Logger Weight gear, go to loggerweight.com and uh, help yourself as a shop there. And uh, we got all that good mess to take care of it. And, uh, Mostly just want to say thanks, everybody. Hope everybody has a good one later on.